I'm David Drake and I had the privilege of serving on the Assemblies of God Credit Union Board for 35 years. My name is Ray Ropey. I joined the credit union early on uh, in 1951 and served as a treasurer from 1955 to 1981. My name is Carlene Gannon and I serve on the AGCU Credit Union Board. I'm Peggy Lawson and I was president of the Assemblies of God Credit Union from July of 1986 through July of 2004. I'm Shirley Shedd. I've been a member of the credit union since the mid-60s. In 1995, I became part of the credit union board. Well, I became a member of the Assemblies of God Credit Union back in the mid-50s, and uh, the, it was a very small operation at that time. I, my number is less than 400, so there were only that many members at the time. We did our bookkeeping manually. Didn't have computers back then. Notes of deposits, uh, certificates, IRAs, uh, all of these things that the founders never dreamed of. I like the philosophy of the credit union because uh, their motto was not for profit but for service. And it has served many thousands of people over the years. When I first joined the credit union, we were about, we had 11 employees and around 29 million in assets. We just were at that time doing personal loans, but as we added the real estate and other types of lending, we saw great growth. We saw God's hand in the growth that we had. And when I left in 04, we had grown to about 55 million in assets, and we had around 30 employees. So we did grow tremendously. We added a branch uh, on Primrose, and that also added to the growth of the credit union. Joined the credit union in 1972, and been a member ever since. Served in various capacities on the credit union, uh, became a member of the credit committee, served as the general treasurer, and now chairman of the board of the credit union. We moved down here from Wisconsin in 1994 and opened up an account at AGCU because, you know, my son, my daughter, both were here. They had an account with, you know, the credit union. There was two things that I used to preach against. I preached against Pentecostals, and I preached against credit unions. And I was a banker. God had a sense of humor. Yeah, so I opened up an account at the credit union, not even thinking that I would someday be working at the credit union, as well as being the president of the credit union. And I'll tell you, it was the best job I've ever had. The intimate relationship that the staff and the uh, management has with its members has brought about really the growth and I would say that that is the principal reason for the growth of the credit union is because of the relationships that have developed between staff and member. Well the things that set our credit union apart is the same, uh, same thing that sets several credit unions apart. One, we're, we're not for profit. Uh, really we're a member owned facility so the investments that the members have in the credit union, they're really the owners of the credit union. We're, we don't seek to satisfy any uh, particular stockholders or shareholders. All we do is seek to, to satisfy and to provide the best service to our members. And I think that's really what sets us apart is because we are member driven. Uh, we're really not profit driven, though it does take profits and reserves to adequately run the credit union. But our main focus is uh, the philosophy of people helping people. We're really wanting to uh, show our members that we care about them and we care about their financial success. And uh, any way that we can help them succeed financially, we're going to do that. We have a lot of people that will know the person's name when they come in the door. Oh, hello, Shirley. And then they will you know, proceed to talk with them, maybe chat just a little bit about How's your family? How's your granddaughter? Congratulations on something. And so it becomes uh, truly a, a place where they feel comfortable. It's not a cold, sterile walk up to the counter and ask for the money or deposit money, but it becomes part of the credit union family. I'd like to you know, maybe share a story, I think, the, that really uh, was a turning point in the history of the credit union, and that's when we were able to construct our first standalone facility. For uh, the beginning years of the credit union, uh, they just occupied a, a one-room office uh, within the building of the general council. But uh, the Lord enabled us to, to be able to cons construct a facility on Campbell Street. 
Uh, and uh, that Campbell process, I was the treasurer of the board at that time, but it was a kind of a, a bittersweet moment because we were excited about the growth of the credit union being able to move into our own building. But at the same time, it was during that time where our manager of the credit union, and that was Joyce Harrell, uh, was killed tragically in, in a car accident. And it was her dream, you know, to see this credit union building. And though that she wasn't actually able to, to occupy that physically, uh, her spirit was there. And it was during that time that I acted as the interim manager because I was the treasurer of the credit union. And just to see the, uh, the employees band together and get stronger through this tragic event, but also knowing that Joyce would have wanted us to continue on and to have a strong credit union. Everybody really uh, uh, got together and pushed forward and made that event just really a special time in, in the credit union's history. You know, the credit union provides an incredible service to uh, churches and ministers uh, of the Assemblies of God. Um, personally, it's where I choose to do my banking. Uh, I've had uh, two or three car loans from the credit union. I've not only appreciated their professional service and certainly market uh, competitive, but I, I've appreciated the, um, just the, the personal uh, service, the pleasantry that I received from a drive through bank teller to uh, one of the executives who are walking me through uh, uh, a home loan when I moved back here in 2008 and then just this last year uh, refinanced. And so I have found the services not only to be incredibly personal but uh, outstanding as it relates to their professional uh, approach. The goal of the Assembly of God Credit Union is to continue to provide the level of service that our members have come to expect and appreciate for the past 60 years. I'm Paul Liebisch, the president of the Assemblies of God Credit Union. We've just heard the amazing 60-year history of the Assemblies of God Credit Union, and I'm so glad that I can be a part of this exciting future and what it means to our fellowship and what it means to their families. I'm proud to celebrate 60 years of service with the Assemblies of God Credit Union. I'm proud to celebrate 60 years of member service with the Assemblies of God Credit Union. I'm proud to celebrate with the Assemblies of God Credit Union 60 years of fantastic growth and member service. We are proud to celebrate 60 years of member service. I'm proud to be a part of this 60th anniversary celebration of the Assemblies of God Credit Union. It has served our people well and I look forward to it continuing that until Jesus comes. I want to say congratulations to the Assemblies of God Credit Union, its uh, executive leaders, its uh, board members, uh, outstanding service, and yet I feel in my heart that the best is yet to come. I am proud to celebrate 60 years of amazing service at AGCU.